Christian devotional in three minutes or less. Not the cheeriest of verses to contemplate on Advent, especially since so many songs during this season focus on peace. But here we have a verse that sounds pretty brutal. And in light of the current political climate, which is one of fear and division, this verse seems inappropriate and unnecessarily hostile. Listen, I respect and understand those who call for civility. They are trying their best to stem what seems like the inevitable flow towards disorder and chaos. They want to avoid that. They want peace. But the reality is that the process to peace is often fraught. Our understanding of peace is often reduced to a lack of conflict. But God's peace requires more. It requires justice. It requires an end to oppression. It requires a, re a radical reordering of the world. And the thing is, those in power and those who benefit from the status quo would never allow true peace to be achieved. So simply by working and advocating for peace, we will cause division. And while we do so nonviolently, those in power have no qualms about using violence. And yet, for those of us who yearn and long for peace, we know that we will need to follow Jesus and not be afraid to cause division. No, we aren't going to do so in the service of violence or oppression, and we aren't doing so by dehumanizing others. But we are doing so in order to agitate for true peace, to advocate for a world that cares for the least of these. But the thing we need to remember is that we are not alone. The God who sides with the oppressed is with us as we do this difficult and oftentimes demoralizing work. Prayer. God, help us to let go of our shallow understanding of peace. There can be no peace without justice. Reflection. How do you understand this passage?